today we're working on the E46s. We have Vlad's here that we just started doing the wide body. So the front is fiber factory uh, front fenders and the rears are click tuning. And this thing looks mean. So we just did one side, we sprayed it black just to see how it was gonna look. And compared to that side, this thing is beefy as hell. It's what, 60 millimeters? Yeah, yeah 60 millimeters. So mine's I think is like 70 to 80, but looking at them both, damn, when his is done, I think his will look meaner than mine. Like even just that one side, we haven't touched this yet. We haven't cut anything. We're just test fitting. And damn, this thing looks insane. Definitely gonna need my wheels to fill those gaps up, but this thing looks sick. So we're gonna do the other side real quick. And then we're gonna mark everything that we need to cut, cut it and uh, leave his rear cause he's gonna weld it. Mine's bolted on, he's gonna weld it. So unfortunately we ran out of paint and these things like they're made out of such good quality that I'm pretty sure if he taps the wall with that cause he's gonna be drifting his unlike me where I'm all talk about drifting it but I'm like afraid because this thing looks amazing. But we'll get there, we'll drift it one day. But his is super flexible so if he taps the wall he might be like a-okay. Um, but they definitely need a lot of prep because as you can see the paint doesn't want to stick. And we wanted it black just to see how it's going to look and it looks fire. It looks insane because they do come white but um we're definitely going to prep it we're going to sand it down we're going to primer it we're going to spray it properly um gloss black for now he's going to have the whole car we sprayed back to its original like well not original this is custom purple color that uh the camera doesn't really pick it up or do it justice in person it's so sick but um yeah so for now we're just throwing it on to see how it looks and i'm telling you guys this thing is wide i think it's maybe even wider than my car that's gonna be insane um, but we won't know until it's all done and it's sitting um he doesn't have front pieces which is a little weird like mine goes to my bumper but his kind of stops right there uh we'll mess around with that we'll probably make our own with some fiberglass and bondo uh kind of make it like more uh uniform i guess you could say but this thing's gonna look so sick he wants my wheels because they're 10 and a half his are eight and a half so it's gonna fill out his really nicely. Yeah, so we're gonna put this side on. It's gonna be a little janky on this side because it's not fully painted, but we're definitely gonna prep everything. We're gonna have two wide E46. Well, not yet, it's gonna be wide. Damn, like, look at the difference in the back. It's about a good two to three inches wider. That's gonna be so sick. Oh. That's a wide as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, damn, it's gonna be so sick. And we gotta get the neons working again. Rice boy. Oh, yours work? Well, your battery's dead. For them, it's enough, I guess. Let's see. Ooh, shee. But is the front bumper working or not? Yeah. Oh, it is? You connected it back? But when you lost your bumper. Yeah, but like, see, I connected to the bumper. Close the door, close it. I want to see what the white body. Ooh. Ooh. That's hot boy. That's definitely hot boy. I got to fix my LEDs and put my front splitter on and do the diffuser. But damn, that's hot boy. Okay, so it's the next day. We have everything marked up for the driver's side fender. We're going to start cutting it and putting it on. Probably gonna test fit my wheels today too to see uh, if it's gonna fit him because his pokes a little bit, but mine are 10 and a half, so they're gonna poke about another inch. So it's probably gonna be good for his body kit, much better than mine, um, but we're gonna see. So we still have to paint that, but we're about to start cutting this. So we're test fitting my other E36 wing on his E46. Bro, that looks sick. I like it. I would do it to mine, but I already got a big wing, but damn, that thing looks hot. If it was painted purple, yeah, it would look so good. Damn. So now it's the next day. I am putting on rivets, as you can see. They're much flatter and cleaner. Uh, than the screws are 
because uh, those screws are actually poking out a little bit too much so when we put the fender on it's kind of touching it a tiny bit so we're removing them we're riveting it and then we're going to silicone everything clean it up nicely protect it and while i'm doing this vlad over there is taking out my diff because i'm honestly tired of the welded diff driving it daily driving it it doesn't like it it's breaking the axles left and right even though i'm having like uh skinny tires on it and it's just not enjoyable right now i need a better gear ratio either way so Vlad's going to remove that for me and put on my stock one that's not welded uh, so i can actually enjoy the car corner hard because cornering with this uh diff and these tires is honestly sketchy as hell so we're putting that thing back on so i can enjoy the car a little bit more and then i'm going to be looking for a better diff that we can weld probably a 364 maybe a little bit higher ratio and put it back on the car and do some more slides but for now i'm doing his car he's doing mine and should be done today i'm thinking uh once i finish this i'm going to cut his other side the passenger side silicone this and we should be good to go so we are now finishing up the passenger side i'm not recording much because we're trying to get it done we're running out of uh, daylight it's already like five o'clock and it's getting dark he's over there just breaking shit like he always does but um no, just he's fixing his uh headlight i mean tail light but um pretty much finishing cutting this then i'm gonna bend it up uh the driver's side already finished siliconed it uh once it dries we're gonna spray it with uh some black paint but uh, that's it there's nothing getting in there all the holes are sealed everything is sealed so i sprayed it first a little bit uh, and then we put that on top and it's not gonna rust nothing's gonna get through so it's gonna be nice and uh clean and he has all this room now to go even lower so super cool can't wait for this car to be uh, painted one color again and look super sick. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't do the open diff on my car, which is kind of good because maybe later tonight we're going to go sliding. Uh, just finish off the axles because the diff seems to be okay, but the axles are definitely shot. So um, I guess I'll keep it for now. I definitely want to put the open diff just so I can enjoy the car a little bit more. But whatever. Uh, we're going to finish his real quick. Let's see. Is it? No, oh, almost. Give it like another 20 to 30 minutes and we can spray it on top. So we finished cutting everything and now we're putting the self tappers through so we can have the holes for the rivets to go in. As you can see, we're going a little bit lower. It's still touching it, but look at this. There's legit no play in the body at all. So it's gonna be basically as if you welded it, but we're gonna put rivets and then we're gonna silicone it on top. So. Everything's gonna be sealed. Nothing's gonna get through, just like the other side. And, uh, like always, we're running out of daylight now because it's freaking winter. And uh, it's only five o'clock and it's already dark, but we'll get this done. The fronts have been cut, have been sealed uh, yesterday. So once we finish this, we can properly wash the car, paint everything we have to paint. And this car will be good to go to uh, go a little bit lower and do some mad skids. Since we didn't do that, like I mentioned, we're just gonna go and send it tonight. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And in great Harbor Freight fashion, the rivet gun broke. We literally have like six rivets to go and that crappy little rivet gun broke. So Vlad went to get another one because we basically were about to seal it and it broke. So everything's good, everything's cut. This side came out great. The other side came out great. So now that we can put it all together, he's ready to go. He's ready to drift this thing again. Um, he wants to paint it immediately, but it's already cold. So I'm telling him like wait during springtime to paint it so the paint can cure better. But um, we'll see, cause he is getting a Mako paint job since this thing's gonna be drifted. I had Chris paint mine, did an amazing job, love it. But I had this paint in December, which was really cold. Stupid on me because uh, driving it back, I had salt all over the car and it kind of like, uh, chipped it a little bit over there but I had to trim it anyway so it's not there anymore but I'd recommend that he do it after the salt so uh, he doesn't complain when uh, the paint's chipped bro look at that that thing's wild so Vlad has class right now he doesn't know that I'm here I'm test fitting the wheels damn that's beefy so this is what he's working with now all that space and then holy crap that is me I pulled out the 20 mil spacer and the fender is right with the lip of the wheel that's freaking perfect if these wheels didn't have a stretch damn it'd be so sick but holy moly he definitely needs my wheels that looks so good 
So we got my wheels in the front with no spacer and it's perfect. And we got a 20, well we got two little spacers, so it's 24. We're just gonna need a 20 in the rear. And that's so sick. Damn, this thing is mean. Yeah.